Hey guys, today I got to thinking about something. I'm here at my computer and I'm waiting for my phone to sync to the computer to get some footage. And while it's doing that, it reminded me of kind of a, a thought process that I was thinking about today. For the past couple weeks, Jason's phone has not been working well. It doesn't charge very well. Sometimes it also doesn't receive text messages sometimes, but other times it does. Sometimes it drops calls. Other times you just can't hear one person, and you, but you can hear the other, and it switches. So sometimes I can't hear him and he can hear me, and then other times it's the reverse, and it, there, none of it makes sense. So he's kind of known that the phone is on the fritz and has been worried about it going kaput, which our finances can't handle right now. If you are not new, you know that that could be hard one to handle on top of everything else that we're going through. Then this morning, he woke up at probably about 7.30, grumbled because his phone hadn't charged all night long. Now, some of our outlets in our bedroom are wired to the light switch. And so when you plug your phone in at night, um, if that light switch is turned off, you're not gonna actually charge your phone at night. It happened to me about three nights ago. So I grumbled about it and I wanna tape that light switch on <laughs> so that it doesn't keep happening, but I forgot to do that. And so he woke up with a completely dead ba battery on his phone. It was completely dead, black, not turning on. So he was frustrated because he needed to rush to work and needed to make sure he had his phone working. So he grabbed a charging cord, went downstairs, started, you know, plugged it in and started getting ready. But he came up a couple minutes later and said that it wasn't even charging. And he was getting really anxious because like I said, a dead phone, is coins coming from our pockets, which we don't have anything left in our pockets right now. So he, his stress level was starting to go up pretty fast and I felt bad. So I got up and I came down and in between the time where he got up and went and plugged it in to begin with and by the time I made it down and started to get the kids ready, I knew he, he was really stressed about this. So I grabbed his phone and I just did like one of those factory resets where you hit the home button and the, and the side power button and you hold those down at the same time for about 10, 15 seconds and it turned on and it started charging right away and it, we realized that it was at 95%. So somehow it just gotten turned off. Don't know why, but it did. And it made me think this morning of some of my frustrations and you know, kind of the winter blues I'm experiencing. And I know that Jason's experiencing it in, in his own way. It made me realize when we get like this, one, we lose communication. We shut down, we stop talking to each other. We stop, you know, hearing other people. We stop and maybe even ignore messages that come across from other people. Sometimes we just shut down completely and we don't want to talk to anyone. And sometimes after all of the, that has happened, you need a factory reset. And that's kind of where that analogy has led me to thinking. One, I we're gonna get a pretty good factory reset as a family soon, and that's a lot of where our stresses are right now. So I'm not terribly worried about it. But I also realized that I get to go and have a mini factory reset as a mom next week. I get to go to my nephew's wedding down in Utah and he's getting married to his cute high school sweetheart. I get to go see my whole family. Now just because of our finances I'm the only one that is going to be able to go. Normally my whole family would go and support them and, and give them their love but we just can't afford to fly us all down there and we don't want to drive down because it takes two full days to drive there and back and we don't have that time can't take the kids out of school. So I'm gonna go alone. I'm not seeing it as like a mommy retreat or like a momcation or I'm sick of my kids, I gotta get away because my kids have been excellent. I get emotional because I'm just kind of processing how well my kids did during break and during all these snow days and no school and no super fun activities during winter break for them. When we didn't have finances and because I thought my schedule was going to be occupied with babysitting. So that being said, as we kind of were wrapping up our night each night with Jason and I, talking about our days, talking about how kids did, what did they do today? Did they have any struggles or did they have a hard day or a good day? We realized over and over and over again how well our kids adapted to each day. Some days they just needed to rest 
and they just wanted to unwind and they just wanted to relax and play games and play Legos and watch TV and enjoy that time without friends. A lot of their friends were on vacation themselves and so they didn't have friends to play with, but it also just allowed them to be alone. And that was really good for them. And it made them happy and it, and it made them rested and it gave them a reset in a lot of ways. Sometimes, especially with my oldest, she's constantly on the go. She's constantly playing with people. And so um, it gave her kind of a reset as well. So I'm not getting away from my kids. I'm not going to get away from my kids. I'm going because I wanna support my, my nephew and my family and I need a factory reset. I think my frustration is the mundane. <laughs> like the mundane day-to-day wake up, have breakfast, clean up breakfast, try and find something to do for these kids during the day. One, because we've been all home for the past like two and a half weeks. And just the do laundry, do dishes, sweep the floor, vacuum the floor, do lawn, you know, do laundry over and over and over again. It's the mundane, it's the repeat, right? I just need a break from that. I need to not have to do laundry. I need to not have to make a lunch or a breakfast for everyone. I just need a break from the regular schedule and I'm looking forward to that. I'm looking forward to conversations with my siblings and my parents and to my cut my nieces and nephews. I'm just looking forward to doing something different, not extra anything. My family isn't like over adventurous and we're not gonna go and skydive or you know go to an adventure park you know in the three days that I'm home. We're not like that. We're <laughs> let's go to Chick-fil-A for lunch and talk for a couple hours, you know? And I think that's the kind of reset that I need. Um, I didn't plan it that way. I didn't know that I was going to feel this way at this point in the winter, but it's a good timing for me to go and do this. And Jason will get his own kind of reset here at home where he doesn't have to go to work for a couple days and he can be home with the kids and hang out with them and, and do something different. And I think it'll be good. Anyway, that's my thought today. I don't know. I don't know, what do you guys think? Do you guys get like that during the winter? Maybe you get that way during the summer. I don't know. Um, I think it might be a mom thing where we need to stop being so routine and monotonous in what we do every single day. We need to break that chain every once in a while in order to kind of have some fun and not spice things up, that's the wrong word, but just change things up. What do you think? I don't know, those are just my thoughts. <laughs>